Don't make a letter Kenny reference. Don't make a letter Kenny reference. Don't make a letter Kenny reference. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about Small Town Problems by Chris Ritchie, which uh, is, is not in any way related to Letterkenny, but I just, all I can think of with the title is Letterkenny. And because of the fact that this takes place in a small town, uh, albeit in Oklahoma, not in Canada, uh, I just like to think that they're in the same world for no apparent reason. Uh, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. But anyway, this is a, uh, a sci-fi novella, and it is a kind of first contact thing, but it's, it's so interesting because of the fact that it is centering around just a group of small town people. It's a small town. Uh, they start having weird things going on. Our main character, Robert, uh, ends up finding a, a dead alien in his barn and calls out the sheriff in the corner because he's not really sure what to do. And it turns out that this has been happening. There's been something going on. And so they investigate and end up finding a surviving alien uh, from a crash ship and uh, end up befriending the alien and kind of trying to figure out how to help the alien. And uh, the big thing that this did remind me of a little bit of is Resident Alien, which is definitely a positive thing because if you haven't watched Resident Alien, it's fantastic, you should. Uh, that's going a lot more for humor, whereas this does go a lot more for heart, although there's definitely some humor in there as well. Uh, but just kind of that, uh, you know, unplanned kind of crash thing dealing with small town, it has some of that feel, but uh, in goes in some extremely, extremely different ways as well, I will note, uh, with what's actually uh, going there. And uh, it's it manages to do uh, a few things uh, that are, are unique around the idea of the whole kind of first contact too, because the idea, you know, first contact happens, you know, potentially you're going to have the government sniffing around, trying to cover it up, all that type of thing that we've never really seen. Uh, but this, you still have some of those elements, like some of the expected sci-fi elements, but it really is focusing around this cast of characters uh, and uh, the the alien and really just uh, their friendship and kind of going through. And like I said, the heart is what stands out because this does really dig deep into the characters and works on developing those characters really well uh, and uh, focusing a little bit more on that on their journey, uh, why maybe they, they befriended this alien, but also giving the alien some depth uh, as well. And so that's where this, this ends up being, I wouldn't quite call this like a cozy or anything, but it's just kind of a feel good uh, first contact type of story uh, that, uh, that really does have some good emotional hits uh, and the characters developed really, really well. Uh, I should note, by the way, because I always forget to note, I did receive a, a, a E arc or not really i guess it wasn't an arc i received a review copy of this uh digitally uh from the author uh and uh the reason that he actually ended up sending it to me is because it was kind of right place right time which i mentioned this in my wrap-up as well i uh was kind of at a reading slump i needed something short and easy to get through i'd commented that i was trying some things he's like hey i have this sci-fi novella it's very e easy to read easy to get through it's short and so i'm like you know what that's, that sounds perfect and it worked really well for that too so uh, if you're in a spot where you're looking for something short unique and fun and light and easy to get through this is definitely that uh, i had a really good time with this uh with getting through it uh it just was super super quick uh it still it actually took me several days because i had very limited reading time when i started this so it was nice to have this though being the thing that i picked up uh, <laughs> it worked out and so i definitely recommend it for that i i thought at the time that this was a standalone but it does seem like there may be uh, more in this world at least uh, that's done later, but this uh, this appear this very well does stand on its own too. It's the story with telling. Uh, so at this time, I think it is, but I, it sounds like there might be more as well. I will know. Um, with this one, my critiques would come in that there were some times where I felt like things weren't super clearly established, and one of them might have totally been me, but. Uh, I felt like there was a, a particular detail that was kind of pretty important to the story that I, I don't know if I just missed, which granted, I was, like I said, it took me several days to read this because I was a little on sleep, so this might have been me, but there's one detail that I, I was just like, did we, did we get an explanation here? Um, and a few things like that where we just kind of had things happening, but it worked with the style here because we're really just exploring more so, once again, the relationship with the characters uh, with our alien character and going through. And so... Uh, really, like there were a few things like that where I'm like, oh, this seemed to happen just a little bit suddenly, um, especially kind of earlier on. But for the most part, I thought it, it did flow really, really well. A couple of other things I do want to note uh, and highlight is 
the the relationship with the alien is great okay and i feel like that's what you know you're reading this novel for that that's what it's for 100 percent get but uh the the background uh, and the kind of building of the world is actually was one of my favorite little things here because it's not a huge focus by any means and this is short this is a novella but, and so we're not spending a ton of time learning about the alien world but just the little things uh without without being spoilery at all there's some things like you know uh, the character's like excited to teach some sort of concepts and the alien's like oh yeah i know we have that we have basically the same thing on my world it's just you know the same thing you know things like sarcasm and stuff like that and so i liked the way it was done where it's just kind of uh instead of having it be and, and the thing is too i usually i love like fish out of water type of comedy so you'd think uh i would really be wanting that and you do get you know a little bit of that it's still an alien on earth uh going through some different things but instead i don't know it did the opposite thing here where some there's a lot of things that just are similar or the same and so uh it it makes it almost like self-aware kind of meta because it's it's almost making jokes about the idea that that's what it would be like and so uh that was a small thing but the way that that flowed was put into the book just for like you're like oh you probably don't know about this or like what's this and there are definitely things that are different so you still get those types of things uh but i i really enjoyed uh the way that was done and that kind of gave it more of to its uniqueness of, as well so it's funny that having things be the same ended up making it more unique but uh, that's kind of where it was and where it landed for me uh and uh i i thought that was that was fun now you do get like i said some of the expected things as well which um, it's, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, incredibly generic or incredibly original with some of the, the plot points there. It's what is expected, but, um, that's because also the, that's there because it's expected. It makes sense, but this is more so I would definitely say a character focused story. So I enjoyed some of the little bits of world building, uh, some of the interesting ways that, uh, it happened, but it's really is focused on the characters. And I alluded to a little bit, but the, the character moments do uh, go, Deeper than you would expect from a a you know a first contact sci fi novel that's or novella that's a, that's about an alien uh, being in a small town and people kind of covering for it like you wouldn't necessarily expect some of the character beats and some of the, the hits uh, you you get some glimpses of it right off the bat with the main character but also learning about some of the other characters just the idea of a small town also as somebody who spent a, a large chunk of my growing up in a small town uh, albeit in, not in Oklahoma but um, it, some of the things too i'm just like oh gosh it, it does make sense and you don't have to have been in a small town to to have this make sense or get it but it's just some of the, the dynamics uh, some of the things happening also just made a lot of sense and so it uh it it made it a kind of a, a fun little bonus thing for me with this book too that i just feel like added just a little bit extra to my enjoyment because of the fact that i could relate to the setting uh and so that that just made it a little bit more fun and i think as well too a good job of setting up that it's a small town but like the who the characters are makes a lot of sense like the characters know some things uh have some things done and there are sometimes where it's like well, yeah, would you really know that but once again the way it's set up is there are reasons given and so instead of having the characters always do the predictable thing a lot of times they have a different reaction or they're thinking something different or you know they have their connections and those types of things and that stuff never felt too far-fetched for me uh which made it it work and flow pretty well and like i said i'm not going to spend you know an hour analyzing a, a shorter first contact sci-fi novella that's meant to be light uh but it does a lot of things well and so it's uh, it's something, it's one of those things you don't necessarily, you're not meant to super overanalyze this, uh, I, I would say, but it's, it really, it does, it holds up well to, to me looking at it this way and was a, a really solid four star read for me. Uh, and one, I'll be curious to see if there is more in this or what else the author's going to do, because this was a lot of fun and it was exactly what I needed, uh, at the time. So that's really it for this one though. So let me know if you've read this or if this sounds intriguing to you. Uh, I, I definitely, a few people come to mind immediately that I think would enjoy this. Uh, absolutely for sure. So, uh, I definitely do recommend checking it out if it if it sounds good. If you're even a little bit curious, it's pretty short. It won't, won't take you a whole lot of time to get through, so definitely check it out. Uh, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. There's a link in the description, as always, for the Wizard of the Enclave Discord if you want to chat books. Whether this book, other books, really anything at all, it's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. And, of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>